This is a Witch Space News special update. I'm Commander Burr. Here we go. Frontiers community manager Will Flanagan dropped a huge bombshell in a forum post this afternoon which I've linked below. I urge you to read the full text of it but I'm going to go through the major bullet points now and then break down our feelings on it. Firstly they note that the September update introduced a huge amount of bugs into the game seriously affecting players enjoyment of the game and causing a lot of understandable frustration within the community. They then go on to apologise for that frustration. Will then states that as a result of the September update and the resulting response from the community they have reviewed their internal development process and have decided to refocus their development efforts from now and into 2020 to address recent and long standing bugs in the game including those from the issue tracker system that players use to report bugs. As a result of this refocus they are planning to roll out a series of patches to address the bugs every 3-4 to four months and importantly these will include a period of public beta testing before the patch rolls out. Part of that schedule also includes dedicated time to address any major issues that appear from the beta testing. The first of these updates will have its public beta in December this year. Now here's the biggest bombshell of all. As a result of the revised schedule the release of fleet carriers is being pushed back to the second quarter of 2020. They also stated that whilst they understand there is a huge demand to know what the 2020 paid update actually contains they don't want to talk about that content until they are sure it's at the right stage of development and not before carriers have been released. To that end They've stated that they will not be releasing details of the 2020 paid update until September next year at the earliest. So obviously there's going to be a huge amount of disappointment from this news. Carriers were going to be here for Christmas, we're now looking at probably June next year. Here's our take from this. It's clear that some mistakes have been made at Frontier. In response the community barked at them. Frontier have then listened to those complaints, admitted that they've made those mistakes and as a result have made a commitment to try and do better. The community barked saying it would like to see public betas brought back. This is something we've also thought was sorely lacking from recent updates. Frontier have also heard that bark and they've brought back public betas. The community barked we want bugs fixed. Frontier have responded by saying ok we'll fix the bugs. The community have also been demanding a roadmap and wondering quite loudly ever since the 2020 update was announced. If we can't know details now then when will we know them? Frontier have heard those demands and we now at least have a roadmap telling us when we'll be told which is around July next year. Now the upshot of all this is that obviously Frontier are not magicians, they can't pull this stuff out of a magic bag and sadly that means the carrier delivery deadline is the cost. Obviously it's a massive disappointment. It really is a shame that FDev didn't see this coming a bit sooner when they could have set some more realistic expectations. However, it has happened, they've listened and reacted. We do however really hope this is a watershed moment for the development of the game that we all, Frontier included, love so dearly. I'm personally really glad that Frontier have made a commitment to address the bugs, obviously disappointed about carriers but I'm also a realist. Bug fixes are much needed in certain areas of the game. That stuff takes time. Collating beta test feedback and recreating bugs etc is good for everyone and good for the game but it takes time. They've heard the calls to action from the community and have tasked themselves with acting upon it. That is to be commended. However, this is the second time fleet carriers have been delayed so having drawn this line in the sand FDev need to ensure they deliver on these commitments otherwise they risk further alienating large sections of the community. On the plus side my carrier credit anxiety has been somewhat alleviated as I have much longer to now save up. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.